Hi guys, my name is Ivo and I'm from mytestedasp.net. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create objects when you have only their type and how to do it very, very fast. In a matter of fact, the fastest way possible, maybe in the C sharp language. Okay, so I guess most of you are familiar with activator create instance so we are going to prove that there is a better way to create new objects by type first let's start the stopwatch then I'm going to create type I want to create for the test I would allow the empty constructor because we're going to create different versions of the fast object creation the first one will be without any constructor parameters and it's easier and the second one will be with uh, constructor parameters and it will be a little bit more harder to implement i'm going to use expression trees so if you're not familiar with the concept you can watch my one of my previous videos about how expression trees are not that scary i am going to leave a link in the description okay so i have the cat i'm going to create 100 instances i'm going to save all of them in some sort of list and first let's create var cat equals activator dot create instance from a cat and i'm going to add that cat to a list then i'm going to print the stopwatch good then let's create the fast way to instantiate that get object factory will be my class and I'll create a simpler version first then in the object factory I'm going to use uh, I'm going to provide extension methods so the easiest way to create an object with expression trees is by creating a static class new of t and that will be the type we're going to instantiate and then I'm going to say I want funk of the instance which is a static field it's a field and it's public I know that it's not the best practice but I'm going to explain in a minute so what I want to do here is I want to use expression trees and 
going to say expression dot new. I want a new expression from for this type, which is type of t, and that's the body of a lambda expression which has the func of t signature and I'm going to compile it. So essentially what's going on here is I'm creating a lambda expression which essentially does this. You can say where t has new to be sure that this compiled expression will be working every single time. That's the whole idea. I'm creating a function which just creates the instance and returns it for me. And why I'm using a, st a static instance field? I'm using a static instance field because when you uh, the only expensive operation here is the compilation of the expression tree. When you compile the expression tree, it has a little bit of uh, overhead. So what I want to do with the static field is I want to compile once the expression tree and then reuse the function because static fields are essentially, if you write private static int number equals 42, the field number will not be initialized and the 42 will be saved into memory when you first hit that field. So essentially, the first time I try to create an instance with this class, I'm going to compile the expression, but the compiled function will be saved in the field. And the second time I'm going to use that uh, use that field, it will be already pre-cached for me, so I won't need a compilation again. I'm going to use the function directly. So let's assert that. But first, I would like to thank my sponsors. As you may already know, I'm creating open source libraries in my free time and recently I started a sponsorship program in which people can support me. Some guys already did, thank you, you truly rock. You may support me on Open Collective and on Patreon and if you want you may do a one-time donation through PayPal. I will be extremely thankful and if you want me to continue sharing my knowledge or continue de developing these awesome ASP.NET projects, make sure you become a backer or sponsor. My current company sponsors are Softony, Smart IT and Noble Hire. Thank you guys, you truly rock. If you have a company that is willing to sponsor projects let me know and let's return to that and create another cat which will be created by my <coughs> new <coughs> instance function I would like to have a new stopwatch and I would yeah I would like to have activator done let's run it and see how it will work Unfortunately, in this case, the activator is faster when we have 100,000 of objects. If we warm up 
I'm going to add list.count so that the compiler is not smart by optimizing my code because it thinks these cats are never used. So I'm going to restart the list and I'm going to warm up the new cat instance to see how it behaves. And we can see that essentially it's around 20% faster. We are using the normal stopwatch here, so if we want a better performance measurement, we can use benchmark.net, but the stopwatch is good enough. Benchmark.net. The stopwatch is good enough if you want to see whether a function is faster. So just for the sake of the demo, I'm going to use it. But if you want to truly measure something and to be made to be completely sure that one part of code is faster than another part of code, use benchmark.net. The stopwatch is working okay, but it's not the perfect solution. So essentially we saw that the expression trees are faster than the activator when we warm up the compilation. So if I call the instance once, then it will be faster afterwards. So essentially, if I want to be sure, I would need to have quite a lot of instances to be created in order for expression trees to be faster, like in this case. So if you have a really high scalable solution and want to improve some sort of object creation, you can use it with, you can use expression trees, but you should be sure that you have enough volume of object creations to be uh, for the expression tree Uh, solution to be included in your code otherwise otherwise it's not worth it if you're using a, no parameters in a constructor other thing you can do is to warm up the expression tree compilation on your application start time if we have a single just a single instance we can see that the compilation is quite slow. And, but when I pre-compile it, it starts getting way faster. So essentially, if you skip the first compilation, for example, by warming up the code on your application start time, then your object creations will be quite faster. Good, that's when we're talking about uh, when we're talking about objects without parameters, you can create a static object. You can create an extension method if you like and reuse the other one as you wish. Uh, it should be something like this.
we can create such extension methods if you want to be able to create instances from types directly if you have for example type of cat already stored here var cat equals type of cat you can do cat type of course you can do cat type create instance cat you can call it like this it's just a helper method to allow you better instantiation okay that was it for creating instances without parameters in my next video i'm going to show you how to create fast instances when we have a constructor here okay so thank you guys for now and once again if you want to support me and if you like this video hit the thumbs up button below leave a comment show something else by using expression trees i will be happy to read it thank you and please consider becoming a backer responsible